Good afternoon folks. Today I wanted to show you our leaf cutter bee house and talk about getting things pollinated out here in the greenhouse. This is why we decided to bring some pollinators into the greenhouse. This is our first year with a greenhouse. I don't know if this is something that is typical for a greenhouse or we've just had a bad year for pollinators. We have a lot of fruit on this spaghetti squash plant that failed to pollinate and when they fail to pollinate they will abort like this one is doing here and I was seeing a lot of this out here in the greenhouse and by the time I found it obviously it was too late we did start to hand pollinate I had been doing that but I also decided to bring my pollinator bees my leaf cutter bees into the greenhouse we had some outside last year and we moved that house into the greenhouse and that's what I showed you in the intro. Uh, the leaf cutter bee is a very small bee. They're about the width of a pencil eraser and they are easily able to get into all of these blooms here in the greenhouse, my peas, my beans, and even my tomatoes to pollinate. So hopefully now my pollination rate will come up and I will begin to see more of that. And that instead of the aborted fruit that are falling off plants. This is the block for the leaf cutter bees. And as you can see, those holes are pretty small. We elected to buy this box because it is easier for me. I don't have the tools to make it where each one of these layers will separate to harvest the cocoons at the end of the year. Folks have taken a block of wood and they just drill it out, but you can't clean out the cocoons to easily save it for the following year. If you are much better at woodworking than I am, and that wouldn't take a whole lot to be, you can set up and make these yourself and probably save quite a bit of money. I don't have the tools or the skills to do it, so I bought that block. The leaf cutter bee will go out, find pollen, go in to one of these holes, they lay their egg, they put pollen in there, and then they cap off the end of it with a piece of leaf. They cut out a small circle from the leaf of their choosing, they put it in there, and that is a plug. That egg will grow, hatch, I don't know if that's the right word, eat the pollen, and turn into an adult bee. When it's ready, it comes out through that plug, emerges into the world, and starts the life cycle all over again. At the end of the year, we will take this block out, harvest the cocoons that are in it, and keep them in a cool, dry place. And uh, Crown Bees is a great resource if you're wanting to find more information out. I'm not an expert in this. Don't take my word. If you're interested truly in these, go to Crown Bees and let the experts teach you. I'm just kind of giving you a basic overview of what my understanding is. Don't take my word for it, folks. And then next year, in the summertime, when these blooms are out and it's time for the leaf cutter bees to come out, I will bring them out here and allow them to hatch, come out of their little cocoon, and start the process all over again. All right, here's how they come. There's about a hundred of these little cocoons in here. As you can see, some of them have already emerged. They're ready to get started. And it's hard to tell inside of the bag. But I'm going to use that pencil there to show you kind of a size. That leaf cutter B is about the width of a pencil. So it's the size of a pencil eraser. Let me get these guys ready to be set free. In preparation for this, I also got a little vial of what they call Invita Bee. It has a pheromone that they release to spray onto this wood block here. And it has their scent and it kind of encourages them to stick around. It tells them this is home. We put that on and we have started to release our bees. Not all of those cocoons in there have hatched. 
So there still may be some that will be hatching soon. I understand that the males are typically the ones to emerge first and the females will follow. I would like to hear from those of you that do have pollinators, particularly somebody that's had them longer than we have. This will be our second year. We've got a lot to learn and I'd love to hear your thoughts on these pollinators in the greenhouse and am I doing the right thing or am I doing something bad here? These leaf cutter bees have been out for five minutes. Turned off the camera, walked over here, was eating peas off of this plant. Watch these two fly over and begin to mate. That's pretty cool.